Hi guys. It is a very pleasant spring morning in the collapse of global industrial civilization where we have stumbled into, I believe it's Tuesday morning, March 2nd, uh, 2021. And I need to get out there and get back to my potting tomatoes here on March 2nd uh, in this undisclosed swamp. Before I do that, of course, I need to sit here and bring you today's Chronicle of the Collapse, which is going to be uh, the mainstream media reporting on the bright green lie of electric cars. But before I even do that, I want to make a little amplification and clarification to yesterday's uh, Chronicle about the nefarious they taking down the internet. In that uh, <clears throat> video, I mentioned uh, having a conversation with a friend of mine. I couldn't remember who it was, but uh, fortunately I heard from uh, my buddy, and we will call him Billy Bob, uh, to make a few amplifications and clarifications. And, and guys, uh, all I want to say about Billy Bob is this guy knows what he's talking about. Or you know what I'm saying? When, when you meet people and they're telling you some, and, and Billy Bob has told me some rather wild tales, uh, you, you, you just meet these people and you know when you're talking to them that there's someone who knows what they're talking about. This man isn't some jackass like me just talking out his ass about things he knows nothing about. I know nothing about taking down the internet, but uh, <coughs> I assure you this man, what he is, if he's talking about it, I choose to believe him. It is called source credibility and in my opinion, this man has source credibility. So we're going to let Billy Bob amplify and clarify what he was uh, talking about uh, in this conversation <clears throat> with him I had a few months ago. <clears throat> Sam, I was the guy who had that conversation with you that told you the internet will not collapse due to the myriad backups over other backups over more backups. Uh, you are absolutely correct in your assessment that if they, if they want to take down the internet, they indeed can. It is a CCJ complicated process, but it can be done. Uh, I, am, I have no clue what CCJ uh, means. Uh, but anyway, I imagine whatever CCJ means, I imagine it is a CCJ complicated process, but it can be done. However, this can only be done by regions, meaning states, countries, cities, etc., which is the case in Myanmar. I like the comment uh, from the alert listener who told me you pronounce Myanmar Burma. Anyway, what can be done on a massive global scale is they can shut off our access to the internet, which is done all the time. And uh, okay, guys, we, we, we have some semantics here going, and, I, and I'm glad that Billy Bob is, is uh, you know, clarifying the semantics. When I say take down, uh, I, I am meaning, and I guess being a Virgo uh, copy editor, uh, I should amplify and clarify that, that I have been over. So when I say take down the internet, obviously what I am meaning is they can block our access 
to it. Um, let's see. Uh, what can be done on a massive global scale is they can shut off our access to the internet, which is done all the time, meaning the providers have shut down systems in place for this purpose. Think of it like when you don't pay your credit or cable bill. Your signal is turned off for your individual ISP and your devices. Now imagine this same shutdown mechanism on a massive scale, but the nomenclature of the internet itself all of that data will still be functional, cataloged, and backed up. The people, meaning us, simply will no longer have access to the data. Yep. Also, the dark net, the dark net, which actually covers 90% of the internet has its own systems of redundancy outside of the known internet providers and servers. Next time I'm uh, spending some time with Billy Bob, I want to uh, find out a little bit more about the dark net, which actually covers 90% of the internet, kind of like dark matter. Uh, our access, meaning the people's access, can be taken away fairly easily with the correct tech in place. You are correct in that assumption, but the hard internet itself is always on. Many servers owned by governments and private companies are also protected by measures against an EMP or a nuclear incident. This is old tech. Yeah, so uh, Andy the Gardener, I've got bad news about the EMP uh, will not take down the internet. Measures are in place for a full-on grid collapse as well, but not for the people. Our towns, cities, hospitals, supermarkets, electricity hubs, water treatment facilities will all fail after a period of 16 to 30 days meaning the diesel generators these facilities rely to run their huge backup generators will be rationed or simply not be delivered after this time frame. There is a white paper on this scenario and it is a very frightening and concerning read. If you could play Billy Bob, if you could please send me a link to that white paper, I would like to uh, read that. The quote, trigger event. The trigger event that I and many of my fellow military veteran friends use as a quote, grab our shit and move out, close quote is a complete communication and grid breakdown that lasts more than 72 to 96 hours, coupled with a dramatic increase in law enforcement and or military presence in major population centers. These are not mutually exclusive. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Brother Billy Bob, for uh, that amplification and clarification uh, about when Mad Max will officially begin. And uh, as I say, I need to have some more conversations uh, 
with this man about a subject that uh, he knows a hell of a lot more than I will ever know about. So anyway, I appreciate that, Billy Bob. And uh, anyway, well, I'm just going to make a separate rant on the, uh, the bright green lies of renewable energy and electric cars coming up in a separate rant. Enjoy your internet while you still can before you are denied access to it. Bye, guys.